there, it's E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily, and we are here to keep things simple and fun. Are you maybe new to photography or you've been around a while and you're just not really sure why your Instagram isn't getting the traffic that you had hoped? Well, we're here today to give you some tips. And make sure to stick around until the end because we have something just for you. By the end of this video, you are going to head right to your Instagram account and change a few things that's going to help you get the traffic that you want. And for the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications of future videos. Okay, so we are going to talk all things Instagram today and how it can get you both engagement and traffic and just overall clarity for your clients on your Instagram accounts. So let's take a look at what we have for you today. The first thing that you need, and a lot of people overlook this, is you need your location. When people search for you, they need to know, or people search for just a photographer, they need to know where you're located. If you don't have your location on there, they might think that you're taking pictures five states over when really you only have a small area that you're working with. So be transparent about your location. That doesn't mean you need to give your exact address. We actually discourage that, but actually put your area or your city or whatever it might be so people are aware of where you're located. And in addition to that, just a side note here, your website also needs to have your location. So what else do you need on your Instagram bio? you should really have a photo of you looking at the camera. First of all, a photo of you is I think 10 times better than your logo or of someone you photographed. And then you looking at the camera is building trust and they can see you looking at them, that's building trust. So a picture of you looking at the camera is extremely important. The next thing we recommend is that you need some sort of call to action on your Instagram that's going to lead them to your website where they can see more of your work or get any more information or maybe even book with you. The next very obvious thing you need to have on your Instagram bio is what you do. So a lot of photographers do this differently, but we have titled their senior and family photographers. So if somebody comes to our page and they read that and they're looking for newborn photos, they're gonna know and they're gonna scroll through a few of our pictures, they're gonna know we are not newborn photographers. So make it clear what you do. Again, little things like that might not seem like that big of a deal, but they're going to eliminate a lot of back and forth conversations and emails and messages that just waste time, really. It always helps in your bio on Instagram to have a little bit about you. You don't need to go overboard here, but let them know who you are, who they're gonna be working with. You're not just a photographer. So for example, on ours, we have twin sisters, we're both educators, reality TV obsessed, dessert lovers for sure, we're always laughing, we like spicy foods, and we are overly sarcastic. So hoping that one of them sticks out to them that maybe they can relate to, if not two of them. And then we always like to add in a few emojis just for a little bit more pop and engagement and people seeing those. It just brings a little bit more extra to our page. Not required, but we think it's helpful to do. Comment below and let us know one thing that you're gonna go and change or start on your Instagram account after watching this video. So we have something for you. Hopefully that was all very helpful, but we what we have for you is a bunch of social media captions that you can have access to and start implementing with your images right away. So in the description below, click on the link and you will get that guide. And the reason we're providing you with that guide is because we know how time consuming and annoying it can be to have to sit down and think of how to caption a photo. So let's say you take an image of a family. Does it need to say the Nelson family 2020? No, it does not need to say that. It can be something more engaging and that's the purpose of the captions we are providing you with in the freebie below. So make sure to download that. And if this video was helpful and you liked it, please subscribe and share with a friend so we know to make more videos just like this one. And if you don't already, make sure to follow us on Instagram at esquared.photography and we will see you next time.